Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Memorable event dedicated to the 104th anniversary of the Treaty of Severus. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, Sons of Western Armenia, Ben Baldikian. A reference was made to the rights of the Armenian historical cultural heritage of Artsakh in India. Baku presents the Zorat Stone Settlement as a monument located in the territory of old Azerbaijan. The Gerard Foundation is alarming. I already feel uncomfortable talking about Shushi Carpets, Vartan Asatran. Let's support the state television of Western Armenia. At the Yerevan Representation Office of Western Armenia on 10 August, an event was held dedicated to the 104th anniversary of the Treaty of Severus. This meeting was dedicated to remind and strengthen the historical significance of the Treaty of Severus and its purpose in protecting the rights of the Armenian people. At the event, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Nelly Hayatunyan, the Chairwoman of the Western Armenian National Assembly, and representatives of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia spoke at the event. In his speech, Mr. Abrahamian highlighted the importance of the Treaty of Severus as the main support for the restoration of the fair rights of the Armenian people. He emphasized that Armenians should never forget their demands and should continue their struggle for their rights. In their speeches, Lady President and the Chairwoman Ms. Nelly Harutunyan referred to the relevance of the Treaty of Severs and highlighted it as a document of international law, which has remained unfinished. Guillermo Karamanian, who also made the speech, emphasized the international community's attention to the Treaty of Severs and emphasized the full implementation of the conditions. The event was concluded by emphasizing the importance of unity and the need to restore the rights of the Armenian people. The Treaty of Severus remains a one-sided document for the realization of the just demands of the Armenian people, around which we must unite and struggle together. August 10. On August 10, the speech of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. She referred to the speech of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan, who congratulated the 104th anniversary of the independence of Kilikia and presented the historical past of Kilikia, in detail referring to the history of independence. Ms. President emphasized the liberation struggle of Kilikia and its significance for the Armenian people. The speaker mentioned the Western Armenian magazine as well, where there is a reference to the 1004 to the formation of the National Council of Armenians of Western Armenia in Shushi, and in 2007 declaration of the rights of indigenous Armenians of Western Armenia in Stepanakert, and in 2011 the formation of the government of Western Armenia under the leadership of the president Armena Abrahamian. Never forget that your people you work not for those who pay you, not for your editor, sources, friends, and not for your career. You work for your audience. These were the words of Ben Baldigan, a prominent American journalist from the Baldigan family who survived genocide. Ben was a child when the family moved to the United States after escaping mass murder. He started his career as a journalist when he joined the Washington Post newspaper. Over time, Baldigan became an assistant editor. During these years, Baldigan made a great contribution to the preparation of the publication of Pentagon documents. After leaving the news department, Ben Bardigan published the book The Media Monopoly and also became the author of many other works, but this book as well as the new Media Monopoly made him famous. Bardigan also lectured at the Graduate School of Journalism of the University of California, Berkeley, and later became an honorary dean. Ambassador of the Republic of Armenia to India, Vahagan Apyan, had a meeting with the Director General of the Indian Council for Cultural Relations, Kumar Tuhin. It was noted at the meeting within the framework of the 46th session of the UNESCO World Heritage Committee held in New Delhi about the related exhibition of Armenian painter Sarkis Khachaturian's work. Questions and initiatives were discussed related to the upcoming organization of several joint educational cultural events. A reference was also made to the threats to the Armenian historical and cultural heritage of Artsakh. Baku continues to spread the false term West Azerbaijan through state channels. This time the target is Azerbaijan and foreign youth living outside Baku. The Art Scientific Analytical Foundation issued a statement about this in which it is specially stated. 
This is, was another event with the Diaspora of the Republic of Azerbaijan organized by the Heydar Aliyev Foundation and the State Committee for Work. During the meeting, the members of the organization West Azerbaijan Community gave a speech about the open aspirations of Azerbaijan towards the territory of the Republic of Armenia, the false thesis of West Azerbaijan. The documentary Closer Look at Western Azerbaijan was shown at the event where the historical architectural monuments and natural landscapes of the Republic of Armenia are presented as old Azerbaijani. During the 44-day War of Artsakh in 2020, Vartan Nastatrian, the director of the Shushi Carpet Museum, managed to save 107 carpets of the museum, which date from the 17th century to the beginning of the 20th century, from the Azerbaijani destruction. He also saved more than 40 pieces of pottery dating back to BC. Vartan Astadarian moved them to Armenia with great difficulty, but the Republic of Armenia government has not provided the main area to date. Until now, the works are kept in different places. In November last year, the carpets were in Vanadzor Museum, but they were removed from there, and now they are kept in private area until their future fate is decided. The television of Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It mainly broadcasts the history of Western Armenia with political and other context related to the present and the future, as well as news raising various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.